In the city that I live in, Superior, Wisconsin, protests are not only happening every single day, but often two or three times a day. What's really amazing is who's turning out for these protests, because it's basically everybody but the cows. Every day my jaw drops at the sight of people that I never expected to be walking a picket line with, people that generally are apathetic and indifferent. In my city, Superior is by no means unique. This is what's happening throughout the entire state. The protests, the mass sick call-in days, the teach-ins and the walkouts, they're happening everywhere. This past Thursday, for example, we had protests in 200 cities across the state. I bet a lot of you New Englanders didn't even think we had 200 cities in Wisconsin. <laughs> in all of this, all of these protests taking place in Superior and all these other cities, this is just the tip of the iceberg because the, the beating heart of this struggle is, of course, the huge, massive daily protests that are taking place in Madison. I heard, and Chris mentioned earlier, 100,000 people turned out in Madison today. That's the biggest protest that we've had so far. Things are escalating. The governor is threatening to begin laying off workers this coming week if his bill isn't passed. And now there's a move afoot to begin forcibly removing uh, the people who have occupied the state capitol. Unions have responded, I've just heard from a, from a comrade, uh, by taking shifts. Different unions will be taking turns physically protecting the state capitol. And of, and of all the unions, it's actually the police union that has tonight's shift. So <laughs> finally doing something worthwhile. <laughs> what began in the streets of North Africa has now spread to the Midwest. U.S. capitalism's globe-trotting chickens have finally come home to roost. In many ways, Egypt was the spark the spark that ignited the dry, brittle grass of working class discontent that has now started a raging fire that has come to engulf even the distant pasture lands of Wisconsin. As socialists, we know how, sta how high the stakes are and we know how huge the tasks before us are. Fortunately, we are part of a political current that has a long, proud history of building broad, effective fightbacks. From the 1934 Minneapolis Teamster strike to the United National Anti-War Committee of today. That's why it's no surprise that Socialist Action Comrades are right in the thick of this, from Wisconsin to the solidarity protests that are taking place all across the nation. Together we must win this fight, and together we can win this fight. So on behalf of all the workers and farmers from the Badger State, I humbly offer you our thanks for your solidarity. I'd like to conclude with a famous international slogan, which I wish I could say it in Arabic, since that's the origin of this prairie fire, but I'll, you'll have to settle for the Italian because it's easier for my Midwestern tongue to pronounce. La luta continua, the struggle continues.